Welcome back. With corporate ethics in the spotlight, leadership has taken on new significance. And according to my next guest, how a leader responds to failure is key. Police Captain Andrew Harvey is a graduate of the FBI National Academy and the West Point Leadership Program, who is currently pursuing his doctorate at Pepperdine. He's also the author of the new book, The Call to Lead, How Ordinary People Become Extraordinary Leaders. And he joins me now. Thanks for being here. Thank you. When we talk about leadership today, everybody's looking at the CEOs of these companies that are crumbling uh, in front of everyone's faces and uh, really just shaking their heads. What happened to leadership in America? Well, it's now all about ethics. The unfortunate thing is it should have always been all about ethics. And it's only now when we're in trouble that we're hearing all about something that was should have been there all along. Mm. And this is one of the things you, you note in the book, uh, saying that uh, ethics is one of the most important things for a, leadership, a leader to uh, look at and, and really devo devote themselves to. It is. It's really the foundation for leadership. I think now when corporations are choosing leaders, instead of determining who's going to be successful and then maybe they're also ethical, mm. now I think they're going to be looking for people who are first and foremost ethical and then the next question is will they be successful? Mm -hmm. Kind of a transposition of priorities. Mm -hmm. What are some of the most important things uh, uh, you you talk about when you tell people about uh, the style of leadership that you would want to see there are five things that I have found to be key in my study of the subject first of all common sense which is very underrated logic the ability to logically analyze problems concern for people someone who really cares about their people competence ability to do the job and character and that brings in that ethical component Mm -hmm. And this is something that uh, you could also take over from your experience uh, in law enforcement. Uh, and, but it, should people be very paramilitary about the way they, they approach leadership or not? I don't think so. I think it depends on the environment. Certainly in my environment, there are life and death situations that require a paramilitary response. But I think that leadership is leadership. It doesn't matter whether it's in the police department, the corporate sector, or in the family. Everyone is looking for good leadership. Mm -hmm. And uh, wh when we talk about good leadership and, you know, the, the, the you also have bad leadership on the other side of it, what people are pointing to nowadays, uh, what are some of the biggest mistakes that leaders make today and, and how can they improve themselves? Well, of course, the first one we're seeing in the headlines, uh, leaders have power and they use that power in uh, ways that are not good. Mm -hmm. They uh, choose to cheat and use fraudulent methods. That's the first thing that obviously we have to stay away from. The second thing I think is a key is, a, is the concern for people. Uh, when you're in a position of power and leadership, it's really about relationships and it's about people you'll have technology you'll have budgets you'll have all those things but it really is about the people mm -hmm. and a, a number of people even though they find themselves in leadership positions maybe for their their uh, technical expertise or uh, some other positions they've held in the past might not be the best with people and that might may be their downfall as a leader that's right and that is a big problem because just some because someone is capable within their certain assignment does not mean that when they're promoted and they're in charge of people and all those people's problems mm -hmm. that they're going to be good at it leadership is like anything it's sometimes it's a good fit with a person sometimes it's not mm -hmm. and you say failure is also key so many great leaders have faced a uh, real significant failure that that could have had them uh, just going back to the drawing board or just crawling up and going into a hole but they didn't yes oddly enough in my study I've learned that failure is really the key to success but it's not so much that you failed it's how you respond when you fail if you get yourself up dust yourself off and move forward those are the people that are ultimately successful give me a, an example of that uh, a good quote from Winston Churchill success is the ability to go from one failure to the next uh, with great enthusiasm mm -hmm. that's one example of a leader that obviously failed many times in his career but he didn't it wasn't really recognized how many times he he failed because ultimately he was so successful mm -hmm. Now, when we uh, talk about uh, leadership failure, you, you, this kind of the Dilbertization of corporate America as well, these middle managers perhaps that are they're mocked uh, in print every day, and you say this is a, an anecdote to that. I hope that it's an anecdote for that, because what's happening with uh, the comic strip is that he's so accurate that people are paying attention and they're saying, hey, that happened yesterday where I work, and they laugh. And management is getting skewered, and probably deservedly so. This book is an attempt to try and restore some order to the leadership process and bring back some integrity. An antidote to the anecdote. Yes. Thank you very much. Andrew Harvey, author of the new book, The Call to Lead. We have plenty still ahead on Bloomberg Small Business. Please stay with us. Bloomberg's Small Business is brought to you by Bell South. Listening, answering.